This training is for structural engineers. In this training, I'll be showing you how you can place your structural columns in Revit structure. At the end of this video, you will learn how to place your structural column like this and also place the foundation footing. Without wasting your time, let's get into the video. For the sake of this training, I'll be using Revit 2024. What I will do now is I will go to Models, then I will select New. I will click on this this place, this Browse. While it's on Project, click on Browse. Structural analysis default this one this is for structural so select this click open click ok if you look at this now these are my structural plan so i'm going to go to south elevation so i'm going to select this one First, let me change this project unit to millimeter. On the Manage tab, go to Project Unit. Go to Project Unit. Change the distance to millimeter. For the length, change the length to millimeter decimal places should be on zero and for the slope okay let's leave every other thing like this this is it now it has been changed to millimeters now so this is our ground level this is our natural ground level so if i want to add another level now i simply select this one and hit create similar then i will pick we are creating the ceiling plan the floor plan and the structural plan that is okay then the offset that is from our natural ground level we are taken up by 1200 then you are going to press this okay that is the height of our floor level and from this to the next one this one should be 3050 mm that is our headroom for our first floor okay so i want to create another one now i will select this one again i will hit similar create similar click apply click pick then the offset should be 3 150 150 is the slab in between so i want to go like 10 floors this is ground floor first floor second floor then third floor fourth floor fifth floor sixth floor seventh floor eighth floor ninth floor tenth floor and the roof okay so i've been able to add my levels now so what i'll do now is to name all this level before then let me add our foundation to it so 
So I will still select one of these, create similar, and click line, type the offset value, which is going to be the foundation now. Let's say our foundation is going to be something like 2 meters. Okay, 2 meters down. That is it. I'm just assuming it's not based on calculation yet. We'll deal with calculation later on. Okay, so this is the foundation. From here, you can start renaming it. You can rename this one as foundation footing. Foundation footing. Yes, click yes. Then this is NGL National Ground Level. Click yes. This is ground level. For this ground level, let's start with O1, then ground level. Click yes. And for first floor, first floor level, click, select type O2, first floor level. Click yes. Then for second level, you do the same thing. This is going to be O3. You have to repeat the same things because of time. I'm going to speed up now so that I can fast forward it. So what I'll do now is I want to add grid line first. So I'm going to go to ground level. Then I am going to start adding grid line. I will type gr for grid then i will enter the first one and this one let's on this so i'm going to create similar create similar pick line type the offset value which is that it be something like 3600 mm and continue to pick continue to pick we are done with that let's select these and turn this one on turn this one on correct now we are done with our vertical grid let's add horizontal grid now select the same grid click on create similar draw from left to right and turn on this then we are going to create similar to click on pick line type the offset value which is going to be 3600 mm sorry 3600 mm and pick or this one all right let's delete this last one all 
this one go to we can move them to the center a little bit so what we do now is we want to add our column to add our column we simply need to go to structure and select columns then make sure what is selected is vertical column though there is slanted column we'll go to that later then go to this drop down now you see all these columns these are 12 by 18 inches but what i want is 600 mm by 600 mm so i'm going to click on edit type and duplicate it so that we can allow the original one from Revit to remain. Let's type the name of what we want. This is 600 by 600 mm. Hundred by 600 mm. Click OK then type the b value to 600 and the h value to 600 click apply and click ok now you can place it now to play before you place it go to the depths here you see the floor where you are placing it you see we want to place it on on the natural ground level which is fine so let's select the height So if I drop it now and go to my approach view, let's go to south elevation, you can see it has been placed on ground level, okay? What if I want it to be on natural ground level i want it to be on natural ground level no so what i would do is let me go back to ground floor let me go back to ground floor plan and select column again make sure it's that particular one that has been selected and check the height the height is from this current level which is ground level to first floor level okay so i'm going to place it you can place all of them one by one but it will be tedious when you have a massive project so the best the faster way of doing it is to select them faster to place them faster the fastest way of placing them is select the column and select all grid then hold on control on control key I like this horizontal grid. Hold on control again. I like the vertical grid and check this. You can see the columns have been placed automatically. Let's click on this modify. 
let's go to our south elevation you can see the column have been placed on ground level to first floor so if i want to place it on the remaining floors all i need to do is to go to ground level and simply select all the columns and if you see the number of columns that have been picked now i see 70 in number okay so what i will do now is i will copy them and go to this drop down on that paste and i'm going to paste align to selected levels then i'm going to hold on control to select all the levels that i want to place them starting from first floor to tenth floor we are not going to place it on roof neither are we going to place it on footing we will deal with that later on so i'm going to click ok now and it's going to place them in all the floor that i've selected speed up your work let's go to south elevation and see what we have done can you see that it has placed it on all those levels if you look at it in 3d now let's look at it in 3d now what if you want to put it in shaded form simply go to this graphic display options and put it to shaded and see that and see your columns okay so i've gone to foundation footing now then i will pick column then make sure it is vertical column that is picked and this one is 600 mm by 600 mm then for the height select height then select where you want it to stop which is going to be ground level then select all grid now hold control to select all the vertical grid hold control to select the other grid and here you go it has placed them now if you look at it in elevation now let's look at it in elevation you have it there okay this is for foundation now the next thing we need is our footing to place our footing we simply go to the same floor level which is our foundation footing let's go to foundation footing and we go to structure we have isolated pad so we are going to pick this and here we go you can see you can rotate after placement but for the purpose of this want to do it faster then what i'll do now is i'll select all grid hold control select horizontal grid hold control again select vertical grid and here you go you see all those pad has been placed if you look at it in 3d now let's look at it in 3d all the footing have been placed already that is how you can place your column and your footing in revit structure 2024
if you want to learn how to use Revit Structure Complete Course, all you need to do is to tap on Learn More button. You can see this is how you can place column and column footings in Revit 2024. If you want to learn how to, if you want complete training on Revit structure, all you need to do is to tap on learn more button to take you to where you can gain access to the full tutorial. See you in the video. See you in the tutorial. Bye. No, I'm not doing it. <clears throat> you see, this is how you can place column and foundation footing in Revit structure. If you want the complete training, all you need to do is to tap on learn more button. It will take you to where you can get the complete training on Revit Structure and Robot Structural Analysis Professional, where you get to analyze your structure. Complete training. <clears throat> so this is how you can place columns and foundation footings in your Revit Structure 2024. If you want the complete training, on Revit structure and Revit this is how you can place column and foundation footing in Revit structure 2024 if you want the complete training on Revit structure and robot structural analysis professional all you need to do is to tap on learn more button it will take you to where you can get the complete training. Alright, see you there. Bye.